Welcome back to the video series for the Play Framework using Scala. We continue working on testing our framework using automated tests that work with Selenium. And we left off with this fun little error where it was submitting the git request instead of the post request that we wanted. And it appeared that the git request in our task list, uh, in our login, that it was going to this password field and not the password field that we wanted. And therefore it was submitting with this submit button and not this submit button. So how do we fix that? Well, when we had this set as password login, it failed. Okay, so clearly the fields are defaulting to names, not ID. But just like up here where we can specify a CSS selector, it turns out that here, we can specify that this is an ID and not a name. There is also a, a wrapper to specify something has to be a name. Assuming that works, we should go once again to our task list page and not our login page. And we're also hoping that the submit is going to submit whatever form we were last on because just going to password moved us to the git uh, form, the submit wound up submitting that. And we're hoping that it didn't just submit the first page. Indeed, that appears to work. So we got the in eventually. Notice that it went to a URL of task list one. We could also be checking this current URL instead of printing it. We could uh, check that it ends with, for example, task list one. Uh, but instead, we checked for the page title, the H2 element on it and all of those passed. Let's go ahead and let's get rid of our print lines. So we make it to the right page. And of course, as part of a test, this is the task list, we should make sure that it actually displays the tasks that are there. Well, what tasks should be there? So by default, user mark starts off with that list. Okay, so how could we get those things? Instead of a find, there is also a find all where we can give it a query string and I want to give it the query string of CSS selector of li. Okay, uh, so just as with our h2 because these are just elements that we're we're pulling out. Our task list page only has uh, LIs for the tasks that are in our unordered list. And for all of those, now, if we were to, for example, map those to get the so up here, we just checked that the text must be something. If we were to get just the text out, then we would wind up having a sequence like that. Hmm, it's not an exact type match, but we'll see if what Scala test thinks about doing that. We should wind up with four elements, so the length should be four, and those should be the values of the strings that are in them. If we go look at the page, we just put in the tasks. Now, obviously, as you gain experience with writing tests that use Selenium, many of these things will come naturally to you and you won't have to run into issues. Uh, let's see. So iterator was not equal to, uh, to this list. So the CSS selector li let's make sure that we have a list of those elements. The find all is actually supposed to, oh, this one actually is an iterator. It is not a, uh, a sequence. And there we go. So our test pass. So we got back exactly those four elements there. And that makes me feel that we are good with our login 
and getting the user in. Now, of course, we'd want to continue writing more tests, do a create user, make sure that that goes to a blank task list. We'd want to do ads, which would require putting things in the ad fields and submitting them. We'd want to test on doing deletes. There are lots of additional elements that we would want to add to this, but I'm only going to, I'm going to stop here basically for the videos and I can add, I'll add some of those offline and you can look in the GitHub repository to see the additional tests that I put into place.